Hey there, it's Laura here from makingcardsisfun.com and I am so happy to be back with another card making video. I am battling another cold again, so um, that's why my voice may sound a little bit different than usual. Today's video is part of the Ready Set Stamp with LLC video series. This is a collaboration between me and my two friends, Laurel Beard and Catherine Pooler. This is a monthly collaboration, by the way. This month we are using some waffle flower goodies. We are using the homemade Christmas stamp set along with the doily circle die. You can win the doily circle die by leaving comments on our videos. You can find links to these videos in the video description below. So let's get started with my card. I am starting out with the doily circle die from waffle flower and I already die cut that doily out of some Nina white cardstock but some of the little pieces of that die were still um, attached to it so I had to use my exacto knife to cut out those little pieces. Then I took some glossy accents and I am adding some of that adhesive because I will be adhering that doily to my note card. You can also use any other liquid glue that you have on hand. Um, Tombow Mono Multi Glue would work perfectly as well. Then I am um, I turned around my paper and I'm cutting that edge that is hanging off over there using my EK Success Color B scissors, and I saved those pieces for the rest of my card because I will be creating these offset doilies, and I am only using one doily because I didn't want to waste any more. Um, I didn't want to waste more cardstock than I would have to. So I used all of those pieces up to create my card. Then I am using the homemade Christmas stamp set from Waffle Flower and I am going to stamp one of their greetings onto my note card using Versamark ink since I will be doing some heat embossing. I am using the Long Island Teal embossing powder by WOW. This is one of my favorite embossing powders lately and I really love to use it with the cardstock that I'm using right now. This is um, cardstock by Hero Arts and this is the Shallows color. However, um, Hero Arts uh, stopped selling these note cards and they also stopped selling their uh, little gems and pearls. So I am still looking for an, al for an alternative for that cardstock since I really love that color. So I stamped some of the stars from the Waffle Flower stamp set using Memento Textile Black ink. And then I am embellishing that card using those little gems from Hero Arts that I just mentioned. I also wanted to add a little bit dimension using a stencil. This is a stencil from Create a Smile Stamps and it was um, part of their Snow Dance kit. So I'm using that stencil, stencil um, along with white Wendy Vecchi embossing paste. I masked off the other images since I only wanted some snowflakes and some little dots. So I scraped off that excess, put the excess back into the jar and then I lifted up my stencil and then you will be left with a really lovely snowflake. I am adding some more snowflakes and dots here and there and then I am sprinkling on some glitter. This is some uh, Tim Holtz Distress Glitter. This is the clear rock candy um, color or version of that glitter. So I'm just going to tap off the excess. And then finally I am doing some more embellishing. I am using uh, those little gems and I'm also using some sequins here and there. That finishes up my card for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my blog post for more information about the giveaway and I will see you very soon. Bye!